What's up, my name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to fix an issue that you could be having in Adobe Audition. It's super simple. Essentially, if you have a multi-track session and inside of it, you have say a bunch of different recordings, you'll notice that if you add something, you'll see it has a different level down here for whatever it's currently playing. And of course, if you duplicate the track, this level will get quite a bit louder. And eventually you may even peak the audio if you add too many things at once. While all of these don't peak the audio at all individually, they get nowhere close. Having too many things happening at once, you can easily cross this barrier here. And when you export as MP3 or something else, you'll notice really bad clipping, but you won't see it at all while you're editing the audio in multi-track mode. The absolute simplest solution for this is an effect that we can apply to the master bus. If I head across to the effects window somewhere here, there we go, effects rack, and we click on a track here, we can choose track effects and apply an audio effect to the entire track here and all the clips that are on it. What we can do, I'll just make this a bit louder as an example, so it's clipping a lot, if we head down to the mix track at the very bottom and click this, we can simply add an effect here, then go to amplitude and compression, then either hard limiter, which I wouldn't really recommend, or preferably dynamics. Opening up the dynamics window inside of here, we can choose from the drop down here, limiting, and when we do so, you'll see the limiter down here is set to negative 11.6 decibels with a release of 73 milliseconds. Essentially, when anything goes above 11 decibels, it'll lower it to be pretty much exactly 11 decibels, and as soon as that noise stops, it'll take 73.5 milliseconds to go back to the normal volume. You can make the release a lot quicker to have it drop down in audio volume and come back up really quickly, or you can raise this to have a much shorter comeback where there's a huge noise, the volume goes down, and it slowly comes back up and up and up. Usually leaving this on the default limiting setting here is more than enough. You'll see that if we simply play back what was previously clipping, it's currently coming to about 11.6 decibels, which is exactly what we have here. Instead, you may want to set this to just negative one, and this way your mix will never get louder than negative one decibels, and it'll never truly clip. Of course, you may experience a clipping sound if things get too loud for too long, acceptably clipping at around one decibel instead of zero. If we go ahead and export this, as bad as it is, You'll see that if I drop it back in here, we don't actually reach zero decibels, but it's not clipping. If instead we go ahead and turn off the limiter and export the track as is here, where it does clip, you'll see that if I bring it back in and open it up, this time we do have very obvious clipping. If I hover over the side here where the decibel meter is and I hold Alt to scroll down, I'll scroll vertically and you can see that we definitely have some clipping here, whereas when we apply the limiter, we don't see anything of that sort here. So it's not exactly the perfect solution, but it does work really well, especially when you're trying to get a quick and dirty fix to having audio that clips in Adobe Audition when you export it. That being said, the absolute best solution is to go through these clips one by one and change the volume of whatever is causing a huge spike causing clipping. But of course, this is the next best option and works really well, especially when you have a really long project that you don't want to go back on and check every individual clip. This has been a really quick Adobe Audition tip. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.